All right, well, here we are at the trailer again. This time we are going to do the initial steps of my solar upgrade system modification, whatever you want to call it. So this time I'm going to put in a, a circuit breaker, 30 amp circuit breaker. Um, I'm going to put in a new Victron Bluetooth uh, solar charge controller. It's the 150 volt, 135 amp charge controller. Um, and then in the future, I want to switch over to lithium and then I'm going to have this. I'll show you what all, all the stuff that, that's involved in, in switching over to lithium, what you need to check to make sure that you're good to go. I'm going to um, right now I only have the manufacturer installed um, solar panel on the roof, which is, I think, 50 watts. So I'm going to put uh, I think I'm going to do 400 watts up there, just uh, four 100 watt panels. Um, it's pre-wired. Well, it's already has solar, so I don't have to do the wiring, run the wiring from the roof all the way down to here. But um, in here's where my charge controller is, and this is where all the all the components and whatnot are going to be, and then my batteries and all that stuff. So let me let me take you in there, and uh, let's get to work at saving some money. Okay, bringing you in. So that's the charger controller that I'm getting, the 150, 135. I think that's what I said. That's my existing. Um, let me try to get the glare off. There we go. Uh, that's the existing um, charger controller. It's not Bluetooth. It doesn't do anything. It goes into the um, the dash inside the the landing control and all that stuff it tells you what the voltage is um but uh i can't monitor it bluetooth or any of that stuff um it's got this little screen here so i'm going to take this off and all the wires come in through here uh bus bars and all that stuff are hiding back here so i'm going to try to hide what i can back there um so we got this and then here's that breaker that i mentioned uh it's just a circuit breaker um so if it if it uh, goes too high, too many amps, it'll it'll trip here before it fries here or melts the wire. So the wire is rated for um, I think a little over 30 amps or whatever the gauge that I have. So um, this will trip at 30, which uh, will then protect the system from melting down and catching everything on fire. So uh, I'm gonna set you on the tripod. I'm gonna get this stuff all taken apart, and then um, we'll get to laying positioning things where we're going to put them and then get started. All right. Well, the challenge in this job is going to be crouching over and doing all this stuff. I don't have, uh, it's a weird height here. So, um, we we'll just have to fight with it. But, uh, what I wanted to make sure that I, I mentioned was before you work on any of this stuff. So obviously I'm in, I'm in the storage yard, right? So I'm not plugged into the 110. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're disconnecting your batteries because you don't want to have 12 volt coming at you. Um, I have a, a, a disconnect on the other side of this wall that you turn off that, that shuts off the power going into the the panel inside where it distributes the 12 volt, but the solar system's on this side of that. So um, that way the solar system stays charging. I can turn that off and the solar system still charges. So by shutting that off, I'm not shutting off the solar system. Once I put this in, uh, this, this circuit breaker, um, I can turn this off and that'll kill the solar feeds coming in. So that's what, you go from your panel into here and and then it goes through the breaker and then comes out then goes your charge controller and all that stuff so this will effectively be my solar shut off moving forward so i won't have to disconnect batteries or do any of that stuff because that'll be downstream in any case it still depends on where you're working and, and all that stuff but um anyhow just wanted to make that um that distinction make sure you're disconnecting the 12 volt and uh that way you don't you don't get any surprises so anyhow um I'm gonna get this stuff off and then I'll bring you back because this is uh, awkward and I think I'm gonna be blocking most of the view for a lot of this. So I think a lot of this video is gonna be me telling you what I'm gonna do, do it, and then bring you back and show you it. So um, anyhow, I'll get started. All right, so I'm gonna bring that there because then these wires will come through and drop down inside at the top with one of these supplied fittings. So let's put that on so we can see how far down we need to go. This is to make it weather tight. It's weather tight in here anyways, but it'll just clean it up, make it look prettier. So why not? Somewhere about like that. And then this guy's gonna live about right there. Something like that. And that'll keep everything nice and tidy over here, somewhat protected by the tire. A little bit over the middle, and I'll still have access to all of that stuff. I can scoot it over, and I can still put that panel up. 
and these things stay on the outside. So this is the white one is solar in, goes to this, then comes to the bottom there. This black one is solar in, goes to the hots, white neutral black hot. I'm just going to pull these wires out. So I want to make sure that I, I'm just going to pull them back through. I just wanted to cover them so that I didn't get shocked because this is the solar feed. This is the voltage that I have coming in. And then I'm going to do some feeding here. So I want to, again, make sure I'm not going to shock myself. And I'm going to try to clean things up. So these guys are going to come down and then go into here. I'm going to give myself a little slack so I can cut them about there. I'm going to still be visible. But, okay, so we'll cut them there. There, do I have enough slack? Oh, I could just, let's just do that instead of cutting them. That way I got extra wire if I need it in the future. I'm just going to put one of these ferrules on so that when it goes in there it, it's just a easier connection and it's just barely tipping out here and then it's covering the, the end and it has a little crimping tool something I picked up on Amazon no nothing special and it makes a cute little crimp end that doesn't come off that we can poke down inside and These are good because when you're tightening up against these screws, it just makes a lot of times when you have stranded wire like this, the, the wires will spread out and then you can't, you're not getting a great connection. You're getting a good connection, but not a great. These, the screw goes into the, to the ferrule and you get an amazing connection. So that's the whole purpose of this. So now we're going to go one at a time in. And I'm going to tighten that down. Mm. All right. Now, for funsies. I'm gonna hit it with my meter. Oh, knocking these ferrules out. Close that before I make a catastrophe. Put this on voltage. And I should go control. I have 60 something volts coming in right now. Anyways, the point is I have voltage. Right now I got zero. And then if I turn it on, I get the same thing going through. So that's off. That's my new solar panel shut off.
right, well, wiring's in. So again, those were the main wires, comes into the feed, comes out, loops into the TV inputs, positive and negative, and then out to the battery, bus bar, and then I landed on the battery itself. So um, I set up the app. I just did a quick, um, quick run through. Um, it's pretty basic, the charger um, senses the battery. So I didn't have to change anything, but I went through the steps in the, in the manual to see if it was, if it was right or not. So, um, but again, it, it sensed it. Um, there's some more cleanup that I'm going to do here because this is just a mess. I'm just not going to do that right now because I've got some other stuff that I got to get, get to today. But uh, all in all, that is a, a pretty clean install, I think. Um, and then the Bluetooth app and all that stuff, like I said, was super easy to set up and gives you all kinds of data. Now I'm going to, when I continue here with the, uh, lithium, I'm going to, I'm going to add a, a, uh, shunt here. Um, so because lithium is harder to verify the state of charge based on voltage. Uh, so you need to know what's going in and what's going out. So I left a little bit of room down here below to be able to put the shunt in. Um, so I'll get that all wired up and in. So there's a little bit more going on down here. And then, like I said, I'm going to replace all the panels on the roof, put probably 400 watts on there. But um, right now, like I said, I checked into the, the app and made sure that things were working and doing their, their, their stuff. And, and it was, it was uh, already bringing voltage in. And you can see it's just doing a, it's a float charge there. So anyhow, that's the install. And uh, I'm just going to button this back up and, and get going. So uh, until the next one, um, like I said, more on the solar, a couple of things on the inside. And then I'll probably show you a few of the things that I've done to the, um, the exterior and whatnot. All right. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. This is all in and done. I just got to put the stuff back together. Um, like I mentioned, I've got some more solar projects to do shunt trip, the, the solar on the roof, a couple of things on the inside. I'll probably take you around to some of the, the things that I've done around the outside and other upgrades that I've done to the RV. Um, again, the whole goal here is to try to save you money, uh, keep money in your pocket instead of, uh, paying somebody to do the work, especially when it's relatively easy to do. And if I can help you out in any way, uh, I hope this, uh, this video was helpful for you. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.